right, what up guys? It is DJ Barbecue at Donald Russell headquarters in the butcher room with Dave Bergen. And Dave is gonna break down some primal cuts. What do you call this exactly? Like the whole, this whole bit of meat and bone? The whole piece here is called the rump and loin. Rump and loin. Yeah. So on this you have the rump, the fillet, and the sirloin. So is the most expensive piece of meat you will get, you will have. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And this is where you make the money. This is the money piece, yeah. <laughs> this is why your butcher needs to be so good and no wastage and only take off the meat. This is why David's here. Okay. We we'll start with the fillet, yeah. Okay. So this is the this is the money maker, the money muscle we call it. How long have you been butchering for, Dave? Um, thirty years. Thirty years. There was yeah. a, there was a knife waiting on his mom's thigh when he popped out <laughs> the womb. <laughs> This is it, man. I love when these guys put their weight into it. This is it. I feel like I'm at a chiropractor right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you have your rump. Jeez, look at that. Sirloin. Beautiful. Mm. I love rump. Rump's great flavor. Okay, now the sirloin. sirloin. It is an art. Seam butchery. And it's a good workout, isn't it? Very good workout. <laughs> keeps, keeps me fit. Yeah, he's cut. Like, he, they have to put butter on this guy to get him to door frames. He's just so cut. He's like pure muscle. You want to take it off? He has a box strap. Is it gristle? Yep. You don't want gristle. You don't, you don't want, want that fascia. You don't want to chew through that. No, no. And then what he's talking about is this stuff right here. Can I show it to him? Yeah. Yeah, this stuff right here. The fascia and all this stuff, it's just going to be chewy, so he's got to work at getting rid of that. Um, you, you want a, a layer of, of this fat, because that's the good fat, but like you said, you trim it a little bit down. Yeah, just to get an even level. He's speed butchering right now. Don't blink, you'll miss it. We need more butchers. You know, as, as the world's going automated, um, butchery, it's hands-on, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't be, you can get machinery, uh, cut steaks, but you can't be a butcher's eye. No you way. need a butcher's eye. There we go. Gorgeous. Oh, and there it is. That's probably the most, you know, cut right there, most popular steak. Yep. That you guys do. Yeah. And then there, then there's the story about the sirloin. Where did the word come from? And they said it was from, because um, White Park's the most ancient steer in this country. Churchill said hello to White Park's uh, to America during the Blitz, just so if the if all the animals got decimated, they could propagate the species. Um, and it was King James or King Henry II that had a roasted loin muscle from the White Park and was so blown away by the flavor, he knighted it sirloin. Back, true, false, or Christianism? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, we're going to the fillet. I always get nervous because Phil, because this is this is the this is the most expensive muscle. Yeah, um, because you get so little steaks. I mean, from each animal, you're lucky to get eight fillet steaks per per animal. What these guys are doing is. They're, they're, they're source and responsible. The meat's got provenance, it's got traceability. You know, they've all got their tag. They can tell you, you know, the kill date, how it's been uh, slaughtered, where it's been slaughtered. And they're so particular about what they keep. I think with, with eating meat, man, you, you need to really source your meat properly. And uh, that's what these guys do. They're very particular about, because you guys sell to, you know, don't you guys sell to the, to the queen. To the queen. <laughs> yeah. That's our, that's our most famous customer. Yeah. Back in the day, when you and I were children, the only states we ever really knew about was fillet, sirloin, ribeye. Yeah. And now, you know, you're seeing the proliferation of all these cuts, you know, the omelet, you know, the, uh, the terrace major Denver. Yeah. Um, all these, all the hanger, all the, all the shoulder muscles and diaphragm muscles, and, and that's where the flavor is. Exactly, and it's only been recently in the last few years that people's cottoned on to it. It's good. Using that steaks. But you guys are really pushing all that. You're like at the forefront of pushing all these kind of different steaks and sharing steaks. Exactly, yeah. I think it's a it's great just idea. Getting the general public, giving them the information. The last video I did with Donald Russell was, you know, a load of sharing steaks and racks of venison, racks of lamb. You know, so instead of just one person in the party, if you've got a family of, you know, two, three, four, you guys can can, can butcher for them. So this is a fillet ready to oh. shaken. <laughs> Did you guys blink and miss it? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. And there's a bit of marbling in there yeah, too. You need the marbling, even in a fillet steak. I agree. Oh my gosh. So Dave, what made you get into butchery? Um, actually landed up by mistake. Um, it was a friend of mine who worked 
in butchery. Okay. And he kind of asked me if I wanted to work with him. So, yeah, got into it. Thought maybe I'll do this for a year, see what happens. <laughs> 30 years later, I'm still doing it, so. Oh my gosh. Do you, what, so, do you prefer, is, is beef your favorite, or do you, or do you like oh, lamb? Or? Yeah, I do. Beef is my definite favorite. Yeah. I think, I think when you get that fat to render on like a sirloin or a, or a ribeye and it's glistening and it's crackling exactly. and there's a, the salt has worked its way in there, that's the thing I could actually marry. I have proposed marriage to beef fat and lamb fat. Don't tell lamb fat I propose marriage to beef fat. That's kind of weird. The whole thing's weird, but I just love it. I think the rump is, the most, is one of the most versatile, you know, chunks out of there, but you've got, you've got the pav, you've got the picanha, the rump cap. Which, yeah. you know, you don't find many butchers in the UK pushing picanha. And it's the number one um, meat, like, cut in Brazil. Oh my gosh. This is just, just the black face that comes off. Yep. Woo! Now that's a steak. That's a big old steak. And, there's, and then you can see there's all these different muscles going through there. And you guys, and you guys sell them as individual, you, you sell those muscles individually, yeah. don't you? Yeah, if we can break it down. Yeah, um, do it, man. Show them, show, show them your skills, Dave. Okay. One year of butchery led to 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you can't get rid of them. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, you're fast. I've done quite a few of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to ask how many. I've lost count. Literally, how long? Is this the, um, so the this, rump heart or is this rump heart? This is rump heart. This is rump heart. Yeah. And this is? This is the barrel. And this is the barrel. So yeah. in, in, in Holland, because um, I got trained by a, a Dutch butcher and he called this the kogel. But you have to spit the G, but I won't spit the G because <laughs> there's meat in front of me. And then you guys also do the rump heart. Yeah. Beautiful piece of meat. A nice rump roast. The picanha. Yeah. This, or do you guys call it tri? No, it's not tri-tip, is it? It's a truffle spitz. With, what's it called? A tofu spritz. That's it. But no one's doing this over no. here. You really got to find specialist butchers. So that's, yeah. that's awesome you guys do that. There we go. So we've got picanha. We've got rump heart. We've got the barrel. We've got the beautiful pillet. And then you've got that lovely sirloin. All done by Dave. <laughs> One year of butchering left, led, led to 30 years. Yeah, he now right. he's the master butcher at Donald Russell. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're, you're a good man. Do you go out to the pub like this? Yeah, cool. Yeah, depends. <laughs> depends on the pub. <laughs> <laughs>